Hello guys, welcome back to e Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the stress strain curve for the concrete. But before going into this lecture, I would like to request you guys that please subscribe to my new channel. I have given the link in the description. Now, we know about the stress strain curve for the steel bar. If I draw it here, so it will look like this. This is the curve stress strain graph for the steel steel where it starts from zero and then reaches to the yield point and then it reaches again starting increasing where it's we call a strain hardening and then it reaches to the maximum point we call is the ultimate strength of the steel bar but here in this lecture we are not interested in the steel bar but rather we are interested in the concrete that how will be the stress strain curve for the concrete so if I consider this in a tube of the concrete and we test, if we want to test this concrete cube and let's suppose we apply the compression load on the both side on this cube. So there will be some stresses and strains created in this tube which is made of concrete. And if I want to draw the graph of this cube, so here on the y-axis it will be stress which is equal to the force per unit area and here is the strain which will be equal to the change in length divided by the original length of the concrete. So how it stress strain curve will look like of the normal concrete. So by applying the load, the concrete will take some stresses and it will start some strains. We will see that there are some strains created in the concrete or we can say there are some deformation started in the concrete. And with time and time, it increases and increases. And there is some limit where it cannot, where it is only linearly increasing. So from this point up to this point in the concrete, we will have the linear behavior of the concrete. So such point, this point is known as the, this point if I call it one, so the one point, it is linear, elastic, and we can call it full displacement recovery full displacement recovery it means that how much it is being displaced if we remove the load it will again come to its original position so this is the first stage of the concrete but let's suppose we want further load on this cube and we want some to find out the other stresses in this concrete so by increasing the load before the load was just P and this was just P now the load is P plus P2. Here the load is P plus P2. So when the load is increasing, so of course this material will try to show some more deformation and more stresses. So this is, this is following the parabolic path. It is not now any more linear, but it follows the parabolic, parabolic shape. So now in this case, we will have the maximum strength of the concrete here at this point. We can call it the maximum ultimate stress or the ultimate strength of this concrete material and here it will show the maximum deformation or the strain in the material which is equal to the ECU maximum strain in the concrete 0 0.0035. So this point after the one point, the second point, this whole region this whole region will be called is this if I call it 2 so this whole region this is now nonlinear we call it plastic before it was linear before it was linear but now it is nonlinear before it was elastic by removing the load it can come back again but now it is plastic it means now in this stage our material if we remove the load the material cannot come back in the same way as it before. So that's why we call it this plastic behavior of the material in the second stage. And also we can call it here that incomplete recovery. Before it was full displacement recovery, it means by removing the load from this stage, our material can come back again exactly to the zero point. But in the stage two, we will have incomplete recovery. It means the material will not, 
recover to its original position as it was before. So this is the general stress curve for the concrete. Starting from zero and then following a linear line, elastic, and then from point one, at the end of point one, it starts the second stage, which is non-linear, plastic, and incomplete recovery. And we call such type of the shape of the concrete, the stress and curve is known as the parabolic. So, hope you guys understand the general stress and curve for the concrete. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.